What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. Nurse Diamond got out again. Oh, Lord. Tristan cheated on Chloe and more. This is his vlogmas day four. Um, we about to get into this video. Zoe ain't shit. Talking about Nurse Diamond. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you leave? So, I already read the title. Y'all already know it's Messy Monday. Let's get into it. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot of Monday. As you already know, uh you can't sit with Let's start with sound, shall we? Not don't have no sound. Girl, it is so much going on. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. I think because I cut these speakers down last night. There we go. All right, let's get it. With me, unless you are POP. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot. Where he at? <laughs> a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'm a talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. Hey, Rick. Hey. Welcome back to Missy Monday. Yes, As sure. you know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. <laughs> How you doing, friend? Okay, look, what I need y'all to do is go on down below and click that link in my description box so you can get you one of these nice shirts as I have on right now. So go on and subscribe so you can know when I post new merch, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's go on and get into this mess. But before we start, I need to shout out my friend, and that is Kev. Hey, bitch. Kev, thank you so much for having my Twitter post notifications on. You were the first to come in, and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. So now I am taking the time out to show you my appreciation for you, sweetheart. Okay? Hey, bitch. All right. Now, since we wrapped all that up, we can get on to the shit, and that is the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First, First of the sugar honey iced tea, oh. we have Rune and Sierra. Now, Rune, I know you fucking lying. What the hell you got going on? This don't make no damn sense. Now, I know funny Mike's somewhere swinging at the air like, you motherfucker, God damn it, Rune. We all know that you and Sierra have had y'all ups and downs. She's done throwing your PS three or four, whatever, your Xbox in the pool and did this and y'all have been back and forth, broken up about 25,000 times, but motherfucking from me. It's allegedly that he done put his hands on her while she was pregnant. God fucking Punch the people check. rooting for you, Rune. <laughs> we were all fucking rooting for you. <laughs> Yo. No man. Yo. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. First of all, I've heard all these uh, dudes be hitting these girls. Like, I ain't gonna tell you who told me that, but just know, it's little birdies behind the scenes that be telling that all y'all men be hitting on these women. And the gag is, the women that is the ones making y'all the money. And I mean, I don't understand why we ain't have no first 48 stories. Because I just. A woman's heart 
is 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 one thing, right? But to keep constantly putting your hands on me is no longer a woman. You know what I'm saying? That that's just stupidity to me. I nobody should be letting anybody just consistently put their hands on them. You know what I'm saying? If you have one little scuffle, all right, shit happens, goddamn. A couple of them, honestly, these days, but. First 48, me? Nah, you're not about to keep hitting me, bruh. Honestly, I be feeling like a lot of the women be hitting them. Too, like, first. Um, but. I'm not there. I don't know. I, all I got to say is, bro, you won't be. Ah, oh, hell no. God knew. There's no excuse. I don't give no. a damn. How mad this girl that made you? I don't care what she did. I don't care what she said. There's a baby in her stomach. There should be no reason why you put your hand on this woman with a baby in her stomach or the baby out her stomach. If you are that mad, leave, 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 leave. We sending y'all both prayers, especially to you, Sierra. Comfort, strength, and I hope you get through this, young lady, because you are so young to be going through something so traumatic. Rooney, I hope you find the help that you need with your anger, or whatever the case may be, or whatever situation has made you do whatever you've done, if you did, allegedly, because you know sometimes pictures can be Photoshop, whatever, but if all this is real, we hope both of you the best and we hope both of you get the help that you need. I'm leaving it alone because it's a sensitive subject and I don't like that type right. of shit. And I love me some Ronick. Five. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have sweet. Now, we all know the mess that happened last week. It was all over the internet, and it was crazy. So I guess after all this went down, sweetie has now tweeted out, built to last. You talk too damn much. You done lost your Bentley, okay. and then you done lost the baby. Okay. Just be the fuck quiet. That's Shut up. I mean, you fumbled the bag twice? Nah, that's crazy. That's what you shit at the end. You thought you ate, bitch. Give me your damn plate. You ain't ate shit with that damn tweet. I built the last girl. You built like a Ford. Fix or repair daily found on road dead. Shit. <laughs> shit. Found on road dead. <laughs> Oh my I God. built the last, last for what? A McDonald's promotion? Yes. At this point, the ice had done melted. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to tell her. I just don't understand why she couldn't have. Mimi is up a thousand. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Some of y'all don't agree. That's okay. Uh, what's her name? Was just seen. Uh, 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 Jada was just seen with a little baby. But I bet Jada probably don't ever have to take a dime out her pocket. That nigga probably paying her mortgage. If Clarence's bills are $14,000 a month, little baby bills, <laughs> them shit's got to be at like $250,000. <laughs> and I believe that Jada's mortgage is in uh, the pot, okay? He don't want that ass to leave, and she know how to get him to stay. And pay! And shut up! Why you laugh? For real though. Yeah. Some of these women just well, I'm telling you, y'all know how to just get an interception, don't you? Just stay quiet. When you dealing with a sneaker link, you leave it like a sneaker link, especially when the sneaker link ain't claiming you, but then you wanna sit up here and throw a little light like post when this nigga done said he's single, but then you wanna throw, drop a picture of you sitting in his lap thinking ain't nobody gonna find it. You knew that was gonna find it. Bitch, you tried it. I don't got nothing else to say about the situation. And you 28? She 28, didn't know she was that grown. Clearly she ain't. I don't, 
20, 28, that's a decision you, you, that was not something that you do at 28. That's something you do at 21. 28? Ah! Uh. I'm just over it. She done dumped her already. <laughs> well, <laughs> Lord, gotta man. do it. Anyway, if it ain't about me, little okay. baby done left, sweetie. Okay. Next, the sugar honey iced tea is three thumbs. Now, big fella, <laughs> this thumb knocked on your door about too many times. What, one, two, three times that allegedly you have been accused of sexually assaulting somebody and oh. you've been getting off? Now, it's no. I'm not surprised by that. Some of the girls, some of these stories that these girls tell that have had sexual relations with Trey, everything was forced. He don't talk. He just rammed this shit in. Don't want you to, like, he don't want you to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you say stop, he don't want to stop. And just, I would never. <laughs> like, it just seemed like he just real abusive with the pussy. I don't know. No wonder the neighbors know your name. Now, you might want to calm down if this is true. Now, I'm not saying it is, but when you listen to the lyrics, it says, Oh, I'm about to dive in. And he said he was going to dive in. He didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the truth. He just said what he was going to do. That's not asking for consent. It ain't. I'm just saying. It ain't. But Now, see, people have been trying to debate, well, no, what happened with Kiki was he put her in the video without her consent. <laughs> Sexual assault without their consent. Now, consent Ooh, is consent. And he's so rude, y'all. Every video they got of him, he going off, like, on somebody and just badly, too, and for no fucking reason. Appreciate the bits, friend. For no apparent reason, child. I I mean, I don't believe nothing is for no reason, but nigga. <coughs> he crazy. You know what? I ain't got nothing to do with it. Child, I just pray this is not real because I do. I love Trey Songz. I think Trey Songz's music is great. But we don't want to I'll overlook say he was these off. women who are saying what they're saying because if it is true, they are hurting and they're asking for help. And we don't need to overlook those women. I feel like these women need to stop putting themselves in these situations. They need to leave it to um, these, you know, respectfully, these thotties. These thotties out here. And that's probably why they be searching for them, them women like that. Because the story, I cannot think of the, none of these girls' names. But the story she told, she was like, first of all, the nigga was rude, had a bunch of other girls in the section. She was waiting on him to finish, you know, whatever he was doing. And then um, she was ready to go. He took her phone, had the security take her phone. So she couldn't go nowhere, couldn't do nothing. So then they went up to the room. She said the nigga didn't even talk or nothing. He just went straight to it and she said that they well he did it to her <laughs> like it seemed like she said like every hour she said the niggas just wanted to do it come like do something else and then start doing it again <laughs> and it just it was pete yo pete on us yeah it's just a bunch of shit a bunch of aggressive dms shit or d b what is it BMS, DMS, one of them shits. He need some of them women. It's some women out there for him. Them the ones he need, not these innocent women. This point is giving pattern, okay? So BDSM, I, that's what he need. Some of these BDSM women. I'm gonna need for you to just sit it on down, sir. I, or do it to a man. <laughs> just over here like not missing this goes out to all the beautiful girls. Not you. But I don't know, <laughs> Trey, because you do be spitting in folks' mouths and shit. Oh, that. Child. I see. You just <laughs> 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 getting 
caught up in all this mess. You need to come on over here to me. See? I ain't never snitch on you, Daddy. I ain't never snitch on you, Daddy. I'm just. <laughs> Listen, men, for men, for men like that, need men because. Men's sexual drive is just as high as another man's sexual drive, if you get what I'm saying. Playing is the joke. Anyway, <laughs> if these women are lying and just trying to get money because they just lusting over these men, then when they get with these men, the men don't want to be with them and they feelings was in it, these women need to go to jail for putting these allegations on these men. But if these men are doing it, they need to suffer their consequences as well. But Trey Songs, I'm just letting you know. For it's one, two, three strikes you're out. <laughs> Him and his music. Uh, Come on now. Shit. Yo. I don't went through the whole song. Versus Bush. Now, here in Atlanta, we had to run off for our mayor. And, you know, T.I. always dibbles and dabbles into the politics. Well, he decided to make a post about Felicia, saying she wanted to close all the nightclubs and so on and so forth. And I think that rubbed her the wrong way. And she's saying she didn't say this. Council member, we want you to shut the business down. I don't have the power and authority as a council member to shut a business down. And there really isn't a mechanism to shut a business down. But in brainstorming and talking with them, I said the only way that you would be able to remove that use, you would have, they would have had to have a special use permit. He just calling you out on what you said before you was trying to run for mayor because if you said it then, you probably said it now. Girl, don't be trying to take the strip clubs. I don't even go to them, but my good sisters in there need they bag. The hell is wrong with her? That's how some of these kids getting fed. Fuck wrong with her? <laughs> are you, are you just, what? <laughs> How you just go, how, what? How you just become the mayor, nigga? Not the president, respectfully, the mayor. And say, yeah, but also, um, I want to shut down all the strip clubs, too. Like, who the fuck are you? Are you going to feed them women and these kids? <sighs> like, what? So I guess mama, after she lost, she felt some type of way, child, because she went to a bingo game and she lost and she came up on the internet real upset about the situation and she said this. T.I. puts out a very salacious lie, just point blank lie and misinformation saying that I wanted to close strip clubs. I've never even discussed strip clubs since the general election. That's never come up in any of the election things. And uh, Mr. T.I., who I would have thought should have learned his lesson from jumping on me when I was running earlier, because that it got him in a fight with someone else that opened up the whole series of allegations that he has in front of him. So he should learn to stay out of politics. Now, Miss Felicia. I don't want no smoke, sis, but from what it sounds like is you was giving him some type of threat. Now, it seemed as though... Or had something to do with his earlier allegations. Sound like she the one who put sis up to uh say all that bullshit about T.I. and Tiny. Like, don't nobody believe that shit but them. <laughs> T.I., our well-educated talking brother, okay? T.T.'s husband. We don't, we don't believe that. <laughs> At all. In that conversation that you just said is you had something to do with the allegations that were sent on him from the person who that's, you just didn't That's name, what it sounds like. The rose when you was talking about the situation. So girl, if you had something to do with that, that's, that's what it sounds like. And see, God don't like ugly. That's probably why you didn't win. Let me hear you say bye. What's up with all this music, child? Get mad at your situation. But, girl, <laughs> I don't know. Now, it's funny to me. How can somebody who's running for mayor and in politics tell a citizen to stay out of politics? Ain't it our job to figure out what the fuck going on in politics so we can uh -huh. figure out who we want to vote for? And so we can figure out who the fuck is owning our rights and shit? I don't know why they don't think we want to be involved with them trying to do all the bullshit that they be doing to us. That's probably why they don't want us involved. Because they don't want us to know they be doing all this bullshit. 
to us, okay? Damn. Might have got time. Now, so why you gonna tell a citizen not to worry about politics? Girl, you messed this up. <laughs> you messed this up. Ain't right. I don't know what's your agenda, but I ain't trying to get you mad at me because, girl, don't send nobody my way. I'm okay. scared. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, she ain't win. <laughs> She order to have a threesome with T.I. and Tiny, they had to take a pill. Okay. If they chose to take a pill, then fuck are we uh, in their business for? If you, if I, I don't understand why people try to take away the fact that some of these people decided to do the shit that they was asked of. Like, it's some freaky people out here, y'all. T.I. and Tiny being one of them. But... If you were asked to take a pill and your dumb ass took it, what the fuck that got to do? Why are you trying to snitch on him now? You the one who took it. You. Yeah. It wasn't me. If I was asked to take a pill, I'm not. No. So I won't have to snitch on you later. How you snitching on some shit that you chose to do as a grown ass woman? I don't get that. Y'all got to stop with this fucking, uh, with this, uh, Playing the victim shit. Why they got to be how to do that? You see, it ain't got nothing to do with us, friend. They asked of them to take a pill, and I'm sure they gave her option. She decided to take it. The rest of that ain't got nothing to do with me or you. Period. Or the rest of the world. It wasn't no need for no snitching. If you condoned it, if you the one who agreed to it, like, I don't know. She didn't win, and um, I don't know what to tell her, but <laughs> Woo, there's a reason for everything. So, um, anything pop up about T.I., <laughs> you know who to look at. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. I'm, it, no, was already coming out of my, uh, no, no, uh, uh, let me, let me, let me say something else. Back when Lil Boosie was just starting music, right? Well, not just starting music, but um, like when I'm coming through, watch your shoe because I'm bouncing through the club, shit like that. Uh, that all that music he put out that was we still listen to today. They was renting out hotels, floors, him and Webby. I know because I had a couple girls that they went. He was w renting out hotel room floors for a, a woman or two to be in each room for him to smash each one of them each room okay i know because it was two girls that actually went and was in the room one of the rooms they said that nigga came in there sweaty and high and geek to fuck up and they had an option to fuck him or not they didn't. They left. As far as I'm concerned, that ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> like, if they decided to do it, that's on them. Since they didn't do it, ain't no need of snitching. I mean, if, if that's something he doing, that's what he doing. Period. Everybody, you know what? People are so quick to be like, you weird and you this, you that. I am. Next. <laughs> you think T.I. and Tiny weirdos? They are. To you. Next. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares, friend. You could be a weirdo. Man, if, if T.I. Tiny wasn't a weirdo, he's a um sexualized man. He sexualizes on his children because uh, his daughters, because he wanted to be at the doctor appointments and make sure they wasn't having sex with the boys and shit. Like, it's just, it's always some shit. So, you know, they going to be whatever you want them to be. Either way. That girl took that pill and she got fucked. <laughs> okay. If it ain't about me, let's get keep this. Okay. Next to the sugar honey iced tea. We have yes, a lot of these females do get themselves a situation. Have Tristan versus Khloe Kardashian. Now, baby, if y'all ain't heard by now, there is a woman who alleges that she is pregnant by Tristan. Now, she says she conceived this child back in March around his birthday celebration. And she says she was dealing with him like, what, four, five months prior to all this? I don't know, but bitch, is this really a surprise at this point? No. It's not a surprise. I don't even need evidence. I believe it. He did it. I believe it. It's to the 
point now, it's the same shit, different woman. Good child, fuck it. But you know what? Chloe, I'm gonna stick beside him. Kardashian ain't going nowhere. I was like, you know what? Give it three, two, one. This bitch gonna put up a subliminal message and quotes for about three weeks. <laughs> and I be, God damn it, if she be. I just don't have time for negative energy. But even when I do, I still don't. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just say, I'm stupid. That need to be your quote. I'm stupid. Period. It, that's it. That's all you can say. I'm gullible. I'm dumb. Give this man a chance to know. Because at this point, he's shooting up in everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. A dog and you <laughs> breeding. Mm. A stud. He a stud. No, Chloe the Chloe the breeder. He a stud. I was about to say a stud is a breeder. You need a puppy. <laughs> this it's is too. embarrassing. I'm just like DJ Kelly. I know. How many babies and women is it gonna take before she wake the fuck up? I'm just waiting on the post where she say, me and Tristan aren't together at the time. We're just working on things for our baby. Girl. You said something? <laughs> oh, Chloe got with Tristan when he had a girlfriend, so that's what she get. Nah, facts. I agree with you on that. <laughs> Go, babe. We don't wanna get none of that shit no more. You bitch delusional. He giving her exactly what she walked into. Stupid. One thing about Tristan, he is gonna embarrass Chloe. And she is for it. Jesus be a fence. That's all I can say. Cause I know Chloe tired. <laughs> she tired. This man can't even pull out the parking lot without getting somebody pregnant. <laughs> okay, well, if she like it, I love it. If it ain't about me, Tristan Thompson gonna give somebody a baby. Next cake. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Kim Kardashian and Larsa Pippen. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, Kim Kardashian Damn, she decided almost she wanted like to post her. her a selfie. It was just, you know, a simple selfie with a simple caption. And the caption stated, they can steal your recipe, but the sauce won't taste the same. Now that stirred up some mess because the timeline that she posted this was just a little bit after Larsa's trailer had came out with, you know, loving hip hop Miami. And what she said was, you know, she compared herself to Kim Kardashian. So people was like, okay, bitch. So a fan decided they wanted to say, is this the shade she was throwing? I'm all for the pettiness. And then Kim Kardashian wants to reply with, no shade throwing, I don't do sub. I want everyone to win. I just had a good caption. LOL. Bitch, you tried it. Now we know good and goddamn. Niggas be lying. Well, you be throwing stones and hiding your hand. Girl, you meant for that damn post to be for that girl lost. So y'all used to be BFFs and all that shit went down. Oh, girl, come they down. used to if be If you cool. want to throw shade, throw your shade. Why do these celebrities be so scared to say, yeah, bitch, I'm calling this hoe out? You are a human. You gonna get mad. You gonna be petty. You gonna be a hoe. You gonna be sneaky link. All oh, that. Oh. They make themselves look real stupid when they deny this shit. Like, like I say, some shit you gonna take to the grave, but some of the shit they be talking about ain't graveable. Just say that shit, okay? You're human, just human with money. If that bitch pissed you off because she tried to say that oh, she was Oh, Kim Kardashian's a Libra. Yeah, she's a sub throwing hoe. Kardashian, honey, tell that hoe you can steal the recipe, but it ain't gonna taste the motherfucking same hoe. You said and what you said, that. and what you said is what you said. Stop being scary. Everybody want to act black and be black, but when it's time to be black and step up to what the fuck you said, don't nobody want to be black. <laughs> we ain't backing down from shit, bitch. Fuck you, ho. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping. Okay. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Stevie J versus Faith Evans. Last week, we reported that Stevie J and Faith Evans were filing for divorce. But then he came back and he apologized and was like, I embarrassed you publicly, woo, woo, woo. Well, child, I guess she didn't accept the apology. So now he is filing for spousal support. And I'm just like, wait a fucking minute. Spousal support? Oh my God! Do you just oh to my her God! And said how you felt bad for embarrassing her, but now you want to get the woman's money? That would have pissed See, me I off so bad. It. Leave it to Stevie's. A and her stupid ass didn't sign a prenup, knowing when she got with that nigga, he was broke. Girl, what? 
something like that, where she was just rejecting him and rejecting him and rejecting him. Well, fake, you should have kept fucking doing it. This is ridiculous. I really feel this was his plan all along. Stevie has been known to scam the girls, and he got your fake. He got gotcha. you. Child, to be honest, this is a Scorpio Scorpio. And honey, he did, he did what he needed to do. These men don't be wanting partners, they want parents. And I'm just telling you, like it is. Don't she still got some of the bigger money? <laughs> she should be all right. Well, Steve. Babe, babe, rich, rich. <laughs> when you get that coin. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave it. Because he going to get it. Invitation. I'm trying to see what that one was. I ain't never had no. <laughs> I ain't never had no like that. I'm trying to see what that motherfucker was. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck with me. Anyway, um, thank you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, all right? I mean, it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping it. Okay. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First on the docket, we have Diamond Flawless and Jig. Now, Diamond. She a mess. What we not gonna do is get back on Messy Monday and have you acting cuckoo, okay? We ain't got time for all that bullshit. We had enough of you and Child, these. Faith got that ancient money. Y'all be thinking these people out here broke and these people rich as fuck. <laughs> y'all better, y'all better get with the program. <laughs> with you and your foolishness and we need you to relax okay? look up look up her net worth I, I it shouldn't be nothing under let me i'll look it up breathe go take a seat whatever you gotta do do it we just got the fuck rid of jordan b and we don't need you coming out here bringing that same type of bullshit please so what happened was her husband from on that instagram story now i guess diamond posted up first with the red flag situation and it said when he takes his ox off to go pay for the gas it, it says she worth three million. The, uh, wait, Faith Evans not worth now. She ain't here. Uh, and she wrote nine money, million paying for the gas. And so he gonna put the same quote from you know the famous page, just know whatever. And he gonna say you bitches is red flags. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? The fuck? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, she worth nine million. I mean, that's more than what the fuck we got down here, friend. <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Plus, uh, this net worth shit don't always be correct. She could be sitting on 20 million right now, and they only got nine accounted for. TikTok had got disabled, and the username was changed to I Miss King Sid. And I'm thinking, like, what the fuck? Our did Kelly net worth? Oh, no. All right, did he hack into her stuff, and he do it. Because has she been talking to King Sid all along? What's going on? So we continue to go with the situation and so the jit goes and puts up on his Instagram story, if it ain't all mine, keep it. Now Diamond, I know good and goddamn well, you ain't fucking with King C. I, so, so. R. Kelly net worth is negative two million. Damn. Oh, man. Oh, he owes two million to the IRS alone. Oh, damn. I know you not. I know you not. But when you look, they got the name tattoo a few months ago, and I tell y'all, the, it's the curse of the tattoo. Whenever y'all get that shit, you break up with your boo, and they got that tattoo, and now look at all this shit that's going on. You know the fuck what? I don't know what. Net. So we go and look, and it net worth is assets. However, if you have twenty million dollars in assets, just imagine how much you got in cash, or you can have a bunch in assets and no cash. The point is, if you had enough, if you had twenty million dollars at one point, it's a lot of fucking money. Just saying. They unfollowed each other, and it didn't stop. There. Diamond goes and posts on her Instagram story a picture of her and King Sid. Tagged him. He reposted it and he put at the bottom a little small little text that said, You know, I really loved you. It was never about the pussy. <laughs> I ain't even know he did that. Was that supposed to be fucking cute? I really loved you. It was never about the pussy. Nigga, what the fuck? You beat her! 
You talked about her. You publicly embarrassed her. You dragged her. You had the whole internet looking at her like she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Like this bitch should have been in a psycho war with a white jacket and padded white room. The fuck is you talking about? I really loved you. Nigga, I ought to... And Diamond, your stupid ass sitting up here <laughs> believing this bullshit. You finna play into the game. Now you acting dumb again. This nigga started just ain't never made you look stupid like this. All he said yeah. was you wearing our red flags. Maybe because he saw the fuck your stupid ass was doing what King said. You know what? It's Diamond. It is. It's Diamond. I'm convinced it's Diamond. And then she over here playing this dumb shit. Then she gonna put up this little stupid ass shit on her page. Let's play a game, bitch. Shut, shut your soft face looking ass the fuck down with that dumb shit. Let's play a fucking game. Bitch, we ain't trying to play no game. All we see is you just been a pass around. Uh, literally. A thought. I mean, publicly came to the internet and was like, y'all, I used to hoe around. Look at me. Like, what the fuck? These niggas wake up and see how cuckoo you is. You know what? Diamond, you done pissed me off again. You ain't even came back yet. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to talk about it. We're going to just wait. King said, if you want your clout and you want to use this girl for her craziness, you go right ahead. But her daddy was talking about lawyers and this and trying to say you was doing that and you was abusing her, trying to really fuck your name up. And now you're talking about, I really loved you. It wasn't about the pussy. Nigga. We don't love if that it ain't girl. about me, let's keep it. I think that was a case. song. Next one, okay? We have Ebony versus Summer Walker. Now, I told y'all, when she got, her <laughs> she got her Instagram back, mama was going to cut the fuck up, and that's what she did. Now, I'm not going to read all this bullshit. I'm just let y'all know she went the fuck crazy. Mama need help, okay? <laughs> she need help. I was trying to be on your side and say, hey, Summer is messy, she this and that, but you let me down every time you open your mouth or when you get your fingers and decide to type on your cell phone. Just shut up. Just shut up. Cherie, that's how you admit it. See, the first step is admitting it. And the fact that you admitting that you was a whole friend, I was too. We all was a whole at one point. But friend, I don't think we putting it on the internet. I don't think we uh putting all the niggas we done, you know what I'm saying? Scroll on with all the women. You talking about the song, old Boogalooga song, whatever the fuck you said. Bitch, you just said the song was good. Now you're mad. Which one is it? You was taking money from London. Then you turned around and said someone was this. Uh, then you turned around and said she wasn't that and he was that. Not me admitting you a hoe and then admitting that I was a hoe and now you saying that it was just a song. Well, I take it back. What's your problem, <laughs> sis? What? <laughs> you stressing me out. <laughs> At this point, you're stressing me out. Sh shut up. Breathe, relax, go take a stroll around the park or something. Get you a puppy, get a kitty cat, get something. Cause at this point, you are obsessed. Mariah, somebody, DJ, play obsessed with me because that's what this bitch is. I'm tired of it. And then you gonna turn around and you gonna put up this. In 2022, I'm gonna go to church. I ain't ever telling y'all my body count on my drink. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be a better person. And if anybody do anything or something to me, I'm going to turn the other cheek. <laughs> At this point, sis, you need to get checked out. You got a problem. <laughs> something is not, something ain't clicking up there. You really, you was just going. Crazy on Facebook, on Instagram, girl, you lost it. And then you talking about church? <laughs> How? Oh my God! <sighs> she gonna relapse. <laughs> Shut up, champ. Sorry. Look, all that beating up I did, the, the chair is a hurt. <laughs> anyway, y'all pray for Ebony. <laughs> Shit. Child, I'm done with this video because he really done. Okay, uh, we about to go and get the Paris and Mod video. But anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.